Sophia Sean Kulik. Sophia Sean Kulik. That uh, he was the representative for ESPN, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken, at that time. Was, that's what he was claiming to be. But I had no idea that he was calling himself a representative of Dads International because I am a CEO of Dads International and I knew nothing about this. So we have some more perpetration going on. Exactly. And this is some of the type of things that I was trying to uh, basically find out from you uh, a while back. But um, I guess we kept missing bases, you know, running around and taking care of business as things are. You know, situations happen and things do happen where sometimes it's the, um, it's the workload that basically slows you down or puts you in another whole other um, position situation where sometimes say I'm I'm on one side of town and you're on the other side of town and by the time we conference with each other, all right, other individuals have already done their deeds and have jumped out of the spotlight. And it was, you know, a rather um, how should I say, unfamiliar thing to me when I realized because that was on the day that Dr. Moses Powers at his weakest point, if you don't remember that or not. He was really exhausted. I think he had just came back from doing some other things with uh, basically uh, a few other companies at that time. For a while, they, um, they were promoting him for the Legends of Hall of Fame. Uh, and as a matter of fact, he was the one who was doing that. And, you know, there were so many different things going on at that time that um, any one person could have or may have been able to, how should I say, misrepresent themselves. But even with that, that shows what the slide of hand can do. While one hand is doing something else, saying, look, brother, here I am. The other hand is picking your blind. So when I look at certain things that have happened, you know, within the martial arts sector and within certain organizations, I myself have to say that, you know, I'm really just disappointed and a lot of the individuals who are supposed to be allegedly better than what they have, how should I say, uh, shown to us all. And I try to understand by sometimes, you know, speaking with uh, Grandmaster Professor uh, Jim Yehuda Prince over here and trying to find out, you know, just where we're headed at this time and trying to help reestablish, all right, some of the things that were lost within um, certain organizations, such as we bought back the tea ceremony. That's one thing, all right. We also have a um, uh, cooking course. That's a whole other thing where it teaches you how to not only um, um, cook, but the right things to cook, to eat, to keep your body healthy, to also keep you in a great perspective where, you know, okay, you know, a lot of people love to eat ice cream, kids love to eat different types of candy, but to try to break them into more of a vegetable and fruit type diet thing, as well as something that is totally new that's coming to death. It's really not that new. It's just that we're just promoting.